Some 200 years back, electricity and magnetism were seen and studied separately. However, in 1820, Hans Christian Ørsted, a Danish physicist and chemist, accidentally discovered that electric currents create magnetic fields. That was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. Hello everyone! In this video, we will do an activity to understand the magnetic effect of electric current. For this, we will need things to make a basic electric circuit and a compass. I made a simple circuit using this 3 volt battery, a bulb and a switch. So let's get started. I took these cardboard pieces to keep the wire in the gap. Place the compass over the wire. Observe the needle of the compass. Now turn the switch on. What do you observe? The compass needle gets deflected. We know that the needle of a compass is actually a tiny magnet which points in geographical north-south direction. When we bring a bar magnet close to a compass, the needle gets deflected. Because magnets unlike poles attract each other and like poles repel. It's the same effect we observe when we place the compass over the wire with the current flowing through it. Can we connect these two observations? Does a wire behave like a magnet when current flows through it? Since compasses work by pointing along magnetic field lines, this means that there must be a magnetic field near the wire through which the current is flowing. When electric current passes through a wire, it actually behaves like a magnet. This is called electromagnetism. Let's now move the compass a little away from the wire. For this, we can raise the compass a little more. And we will notice that the deflection in the compass needle decreases. This shows that the magnetic effect decreases with the distance from the current carrying wire. Remove the wire from underneath and keep it above the compass. You will see that the direction of deflection of the compass needle reverses. Earlier it was moving towards northeast but now it is going towards northwest. This shows that the magnetic field above and below the wires are in opposite direction. Actually the direction of magnetic field is given by the right hand thumb rule. Suppose this is the wire and current is flowing in this direction. Now point the thumb of the right hand in the direction of flow of current or imaginary positive charge and curl the fingers. The curl of your fingers would then give the direction of the magnetic field. You can see that your curl is pointing to one direction underneath the wire and in the opposite direction above the wire. What happens if we reverse the direction of current? Right now it is deflecting towards northwest. Now when we place the compass on the opposite direction of current flow, it will deflect towards northeast. We observe that the compass needle's deflection reverses when current flows in the opposite direction. Now we will increase the flow of current through this wire by connecting more batteries. You can observe that the needle deflects more when there is more current passing through the wire. Let's summarize our findings. When electric current flows through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This magnetic effect decreases when we move away from the wire. The direction of magnetic field is opposite above and below the wire. If we reverse the direction of current flow, the direction of magnetic field also reverses. 
more the current flowing through the wire, more the magnetic effect produced. I hope you enjoyed this activity. If you did, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with another video on electromagnetism where we will make our own electromagnet. Till then, goodbye.